In the morning, I head back into town to Paramaribo, Suriname's capital city. I need to find out where wolfish can be found. I head downtown to the fish market to try my luck. This looks like a small um, anumara, small wolfish. Uh, it's a it's a, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand. This one isn't actually the anumara. This is a this is a small relative called here the pataca. I've caught something very similar to this, maybe actually the same as this in Brazil. Ah. Those teeth are probably almost as vicious as the piranhas. They're also very slippery. It's like a bar of soap with teeth. Oh. It's the big one, a sort of scaled up version of this, which is what I'm looking for. The wolfish I'm hunting are 10 times larger than these. There are no wolfish here, but I don't leave empty handed. I've been told of an old retired Anyamara fisherman who lives in town. Maybe he can tell me where I can find one of these monsters. His name is Fritz van der Bosch. He shows me his old wolf fish gear. This is the, the reel that I get the most big Anyamara. So this is very strong line. It may be outdated, but it's an impressive rig. And as we settle down to chat, he tells me of his own strange experience of being attacked by a wolffish. A, a, a tree was falling over the creek and walk on the tree. And you might be jumping to, to take my foot. Yes. So your leg was out of the water? No, huh? no. <laughs> The way you talk, I see you don't believe it, but it's danger, I tell you that. If the Anumara hungry, it's dangerous. This story really puts the wolfish into a different league. I have never heard of a fish trying to attack someone on land before. And there's another, more chilling story. I go and tell you something. An Indian woman was going to wash on the creek. I had a little dog. I mean, you want to jump. We didn't take the dog. Turn back in water and go with the dog. Reptilian monsters like anacondas and gators are known to snatch dogs from the water's edge. But a fish, now I'm even more determined to find a wolf fish. No, it is not easy to catch a Numara because you get too much people shooting. I mean, it sounds like what you need to do now is go a long way away. Before, it was easy to go in there. So you're, now you can't just do a short, a short fishing trip. You have to make an expedition, really. Yeah, sure. No, I'm there. OK. It seems that people have driven out this aquatic wolf. It now exists only beyond civilization. To take it on, I'm now preparing to travel deep into Suriname's wild interior. Maybe there I'll find other stories of wolfish attacks that have just never made it out of the jungle alive. To find a monster more terrible than even the dreaded piranha, I'm about to go deeper than I have ever ventured before. Hey! Hey, hey! 